America and the West are terrified by an, um, a takeover of Taiwan by China. Legitimately, they are right, because it would be a disaster even for our way of life, computer, and so, you know, all of that. But I can predict you something today. If Israel does not win the war over Hamas, and if Ukraine does not recuperate her territory against Putin, you will have an invasion of, of Taiwan. I'm absolutely sure of that. What are we seeing specifically in China? So we, we see uh, them using the same discourse against Israel and Zionism that's merged uh, and fused with the language uh, of, with the anti-Western language. They see it as a tool that can be used against the West and against democracies. Now, now I just want to say that uh, it's important to understand that you know, states like this can't create the problem. What they do is they see the problem that exists, right? They look at a democratic society and they see, well, there are, you know, problems here, or you can apply a little bit of pressure and you will create a disturbance there. So they want democratic societies, Western societies that they perceive as enemies, to be kind of engrossed in these, uh, in, in this problem so that they don't, for example, pay attention to what, let's say, Russia is doing in Ukraine. Right, so there are fewer kind of uh, less bandwidths left to looking at what China is doing in Taiwan. So it's very much, it becomes very much a tool of political warfare. Is that a message that cuts through that this is a threat to Western civilization? Does that sort of <clears throat> language really cut through with the British public? Um, it's, it's not part of our narrative. I don't think, you know, a, a main, I, I would say mainstream British opinion thinks that this is a conflict far away which doesn't affect the British people directly. I completely disagree with that for the reasons I've set out earlier, but fundamentally because um, you know, the Iranian uh, aggression towards Israel is an attack on democracy, on human rights, on the rule of law, on protection of minorities, protection uh, and equal rights for women and LGBT groups. That's what Israel represents, those Western values. If these Iranian regimes and Islamist groups win, we have lost a beacon of democracy in the region. And if they win, they will continue to attack further Western values in the UK, in Europe and in the US. As they are already, and we see the marches in London <coughs> chanting, Yemen, Yemen, make us proud, turn another ship around, expressing solidarity with the Iranian-backed Houthi rebels who have been attacking British targets in the Red Sea, and I'm wondering, are people making that connection that this is not just an Israeli-Palestinian issue, this is a broader question where on the one side you have Israel and Britain, and on the other side you have Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and Iran? People are not seeing it in that uh, existential way with, um, exactly as you say, Hezbollah, Houthis, Iran, I would add China and Russia on that side, and Israel, the UK, US and the West on the other. Extremism versus civilization, barbarity versus humanity. People are not seeing it um, along those lines, but that is exactly what we're dealing with here. So this is a broader battle for our values. Mm -hmm.